Welcome to the 2016 World Championship Qualifier, everyone. My name is Yuya Sakaki, and I'm an entertainment duelist. I hope you all find this, uh, this tournament exciting, and I hope you're all having a great time. Oh, I'm having an incredible time. I've seen lots of cool new cards and strategies that I can't wait to test out. That's great, but who are you? My name is Yusei Fudo, and I'm a turbo duelist. Perhaps you've seen my red motorcycle outside. I love the fast pace and speed of a duel. Turbo duelist? Dueling is best when it's done for the entertainment of an audience. Don't you agree? I don't see why a duel can't be fast paced and exciting. And it, with really loud music played behind it, that's better. While also entertaining the crowd. How about you and I duel, Yuya? That way I can test out some new strategies and we can put on a show for this great audience of 16 and thousands out there. That is a fantastic idea. Watch out, Yuya. I'm not pulling any punches. Let's rev it up! It's showtime! There's something strange about this Yuya character. I can't understand, underestimate his abilities. I better be careful. I set two cards face down and end my turn. Is that all you got? I'll start things off by summoning Performa Pal Skull Crabat Joker to my field. Yeah. My Skull Crabat Joker's effects lets me add a, add a Performa Pal, Magician, or Odd Eyes Monster from my deck to my hand. I'll activate its effect to do just that. Whoa! That's a lot of searching abilities attached to just one monster. I can tell that you're relying on your Skull Crabat Joker to unite the different monsters in your deck. That's why I'm activating a powerful effect of my own. I discard Effect Feeler. From my hand to negate the effect of your Performa Pal Skull Crabat Joker! As nice as it would have been to search for any card I want, I have plenty more cards already in my hand. Let's swing into action! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to put the Pendulum Scales in place! Pendulum Scales? What in the name of red motorcycles are you talking about? Oh, I will tell you, you say. Don't you know what pendulum scales are? You can't pendulum summon without them. I can't what? What in the hell are you talking about? Oh, I'll show you. And the crowd. I activate Performapal Odd Eyes Light Phoenix and Performapal Odd Eyes Unicorn in my pendulum zones. Wait, wait, what's a pendulum zone? Pendulum zones are where pendulums go. What on earth are you talking about, man? I will tell you. Pendulum monsters are unique cards that are spells and monsters. They can be placed in a pendulum zone as a, as a spell card or summoned in the monster zone as a monster card. Okay, and what do they do? Each pendulum card has a separate effect depending on whether it's in the pendulum zone or the monster card zone. But most importantly, each pendulum card placed in one of my two pendulum zones gives me a pendulum scale. Performapal Odd Eyes Light Phoenix gives me a pendulum scale of three, while Performapal Odd Eyes Unicorn gives me a pendulum scale of eight. Now I can perform a pendulum summon. This isn't good. Oh, no it isn't. Since the cards in my two pendulum zones have scales of three and eight, I can special summon any number of monsters with levels three and eight. I'll special summon my level 6 Performa Pal Bubble Bow Wow with 2300 attack points and my level 7 Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon with 2500 attack points to the field. Just like that, you're able to summon two high level monsters at once? This is insane! Yeah, <laughs> that's the power of the Pendulum Summon. Now it's time to attack. I'm gonna wipe you out with one single attack. What? Yes, sir. I attack with Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and activate the effect of the Performapal Odd Eyes Unicorn in the Pendulum Zone. Once, 
while my Performant Pal Odd Eyes Unicorn is face up in my Pendulum Zone, I can increase the attack points of an attacking Odd Eyes monster by the attack points of one of my Performant Pal monsters. I'll increase my Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon's attack points by the attack points of Performant Pal Bubble Bow Wow, giving it a grand total of 4,800 attack points. You're finished, you say. It looks like the entertainment isn't going to last as long as I hoped. Hold it right there, Yuya. I activate Defense Draw. This card defends me from your attack and lets me draw one card from my deck. My life points are safe. You're still in trouble. Perform about, pal, Skullcrabat Joker. Attack, you say, directly. Oh, no. Now it's my Bubble Bow Wow's turn to attack. Bubble Bow Wow, finish, you say, off. I activate Scrap Iron Scarecrow. This card negates your monster's attack and then goes back face down so I can use it again later. Oh, since you didn't even know what a pendulum summon was, I thought this was going to be a quick and easy duel, but it looks like I was wrong. You made it through one of my strongest opening plays. It's your move. My turn. I draw. First, I special summon Unknown Synchron from my hand. As long as you control a monster and I don't, I can special summon this monster to the field. Next, I activate One for One. This spell card lets me send a monster from my hand to my graveyard to special summon a level one monster from my deck. I send Quillbolt Hedgehog to my graveyard to special summon Tuning Wear. Next, I summon Synchron Carrier. This card lets me normal summon an additional Synchron monster this turn. Now I'll tune my level one unknown Synchron and my level one tuning wear and my level two Synchron Carrier. Come forth, Armory Arm. A Synchro summon? That's right, Yuya. Whenever my tuning wear is used in a Synchro summon, I get to draw a card. Next, I activate this spell card, Tuning. This card lets me add a Synchron Tuner monster from my deck to my hand, and then send the top card of my deck to my graveyard. I'll add Junk Synchron to my hand and then discard the top card of my deck. Are you still with me? <laughs> I sure am. Now I'll use the extra summon granted to me by my Synchron Carrier to normal summon Junk Synchron. I activate Junk Synchron's effect to special summon Tuning Wear back from my graveyard. Welcome back, Tuning Wear. It's been too long. Next, I activate the effect of my Quillbolt Hedgehog. While I control a tuner like Junk Synchron, I can special summon Quillbolt Hedgehog from my graveyard. I see you have your own ways of summoning multiple monsters to the field. That's right, but it doesn't stop there. Now it's time for a second Synchro Summon. I tune my level three Junk Synchron with my level one Tuning Wear and level two Quillbolt Hedgehog. I Synchro Summon Stardust Charge Warrior. When Stardust Charge Warrior is summoned, I get to draw a card. Plus, I get to draw an additional card for using Tuning Wear and its Synchro Summon. That means I draw a total of two cards from my deck. My Performa Pal Bubble Bow Wow and Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon are both stronger than your Stardust Charge Warrior and your Armory Arm. Well, they won't be for long, my new friend. I activate Armory Arm's effect. I equip my Armory Arm to Stardust Charge Warrior to increase my Stardust Charge Warrior's attack points by 1,000 to a grand total of 3,000. Whenever my Stardust Charge Warrior destroys one of your monsters and sends it to the graveyard while equipped with Armory Arm, you lose life points equal to your monster's attack points. My Stardust Charge Warrior also has a special ability that lets it attack all of your monsters. You're finished, Yuya! Stardust Charge Warrior, attack and destroy Yuya's Performa Pal Skull Cravat Joker! Since my Stardust Charge Warrior has 3,000 attack points and your Skull Cravat Joker only has 1,800 attack points, let's do the math. You lose 1,200 life points. Then, thanks to my Armory Arms effect, you'll lose another 1,800 life points when your Skull Cravat Joker goes to the graveyard. Wait, what is happening? What's going on? Why isn't your Skull Cravat Joker in your graveyard? 
And why didn't you lose 1,800 life points? <laughs> Let me teach you a little lesson, you say. Because my Performapal Skullcrabat Joker, like each of the other monsters on my field, is a pendulum monster. And when a pendulum and when pendulum cards are destroyed or would have otherwise be sent from the field to the graveyard, they go to the extra deck instead of the graveyard. Since my Skull Crabat Joker doesn't go to the graveyard, Armory Arm's effect doesn't reduce my life points. Wait. A group of monsters that start out in the main deck but move into the extra deck over the course of du of the duel? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Either way, my Stardust Charge Warrior isn't finished with you. Stardust Charge Warrior, attack and destroy. Perform a pal, Bubble Bow Wow. Ah, I lose 700 life points and my Bubble Bow Wow goes face up to my extra deck. Now, attack Yuya's Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. I lose another 500 life points and send my Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon to my extra deck. You may have survived the turn, but now your field is empty and you've fallen way behind. I set two cards face down and end my turn. It's your move. My field was empty, but I'm about to fill it back up. How? You only have two cards in your hand. You'll see soon enough. First, I activate Pot of Greed. This card lets me draw. Thank you. This card lets me draw two cards. Next, I summon Performapal's second donkey to my field. What? Yes, sir. Since I have two cards in my pendulum zones, second donkey's effect lets me add any Performapal monster from my deck to my hand. And I'll add Performapal Pendulum Sorcerer to my hand. Next, I Pendulum Summon, Perform a Pal Bubble Bow Wow, Perform a Pal Skull Crabat Joker, and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon from my extra deck, and Perform a Pal Pendulum Sorcerer from my hand. No way! You can Pendulum Summon monsters from your hand and extra deck? That's right! Oh! Now, I have five monsters on my field. Next, I activate the effect of my Performapal Pendulum Sorcerer. By destroying the two cards in my Pendulum Zones, I get to add two Performapal monsters from my deck to my hand. I'll destroy Performapal Odd Eyes Unicorn and Performapal Odd Eyes Light Phoenix, sending them to my extra deck, and then add Performapal Spring Goose and Performapal Slight Hand Magician to my hand. Next, I tribute Performapal Second Donkey to Special Summon Performapal Slight Hand Magician from my hand. I can Special Summon my Performapal Slight Hand Magician simply by tributing any Performapal that isn't a Pendulum Monster. Now I activate my Slight Hand Magician's effect. By discarding a card from my hand, I destroy your Stardust Charge Warrior. Oh no! Now your life points are wide open. Perform a pal, Slight Hand Magician. Use your 2,500 attack points to finish you say off. I activate Stardust Respark. Since your Perform a pal, Slight Hand Magician's attack points are greater than my life points, this card negates your attack and lets me draw a card. Then I special summon Stardust Dragon from my extra deck. Come forth, Stardust Dragon! That's right, Stardust Dragon. Your Stardust Dragon is the only thing standing between me and victory. And my Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon is just as strong as it is. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, attack and destroy you, say Stardust Dragon. Hold it right there, Yuya. I'll activate my Scrap Iron Scarecrow. That's right. Just like it did it last turn, my Scrap Iron Scarecrow negates your monster's attack and then returns face down. Your Performa Pal Pendulum Sorcerer, Performa Pal Skull Crabat Joker, and Performa Pal Bubble Bow Wow are all weaker than my Stardust Dragon, which means that my Stardust Dragon and my life points have survived your Pendulum Summon. I set one card before ending my turn. You may have five monsters on your field, but as long as I have Stardust Dragon on mine, I'm still in this duel. I activate my face down card, Graceful Revival. I bet you remember my old friend Tuningware. 
It can be used as a level one or level two monster in a synchro summon. And let me draw a card when it's set to the graveyard as a synchro material. Graceful Revival summons it back to the field. Next, I activate the effect of Jet Synchron in my graveyard. By discarding a card from my hand, I can special summon Jet Synchron back to the field. I discard Rush Warrior to special summon Jet Synchron. But that's not all, Yuya. I activate the effect of my Rush Warrior. By banishing it from my graveyard, I can return any Synchron monster from my graveyard to my hand. I banish Rush Warrior from my graveyard to return Synchron Carrier to my hand. Now I summon Synchron Carrier. I tune my level one Jet Synchron with my level two Synchron Carrier and my tuning wear to Synchro Summon the level five Tuner Synchro Excel Synchron. So it's a tuner and a synchro. That is fascinating. Indeed. Now I draw one card thanks to the effect of tuning wear. I activate the effect of my Excel Synchron. By sending Turbo Synchron from my deck to my graveyard, I reduce my Excel Synchron's level by one. Now, Stardust Dragon, attack and destroy Yuya's Performa Pal Skullcrabat Joker. You I'll lose 700 life points. I'll return my Skullcrabat Joker to my extra deck. It's over, Yuya. I activate Limit Overdrive. This quick play spell card lets me combine a synchro, a synchro tuner and synchro non-tuner to summon a synchro monster whose level is equal to the sum of my two monsters' levels. I combine my level 8 Stardust Dragon and level 4 Excel Synchron to summon my ultimate monster. Stardust Seifer Divine Dragon! My Stardust Seifer Divine Dragon stands strong with 4,000 attack and defense points. And since I'm still in my battle phase, it can still attack. Stardust Seifer Divine Dragon, attack, perform a pow, bubble, bow wow, and end this duel! I activate my trap card, Command Performance! As long as I control a Performapal monster, this card stops your attack and switches your Stardust Seifer Divine Dragon into defense mode. Good move, Yuya, but even in defense mode, you'll still need to overcome my dragon's 4,000 defense points. It's your turn. I can still win this duel. I draw. First, I activate Pot of Riches. This card lets me send three of the Pendulum Monsters in my extra deck back to my main hand and draw two cards. What an awesome draw. I activate Perform a Pal Monkey Board in my Pendulum Zone. That's right. This card's Pendulum Effect lets me search my deck for any level four or lower Perform a Pal Monster and add it to my hand. I'll use its effect to grab Perform a Pal Camel Lump from my deck. Next, I activate Perform a Pal Camel Lump in my Pendulum Zone. Once per turn, I can use my Camel Lump's effect to decrease one of your monster's defense points by 800 and let one of my monsters inflict piercing damage. I'll use Camel Lump's effect to reduce your Stardust C for Divine Dragon's defense points to 3200 and allow my Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon to pierce through it. My Stardust C for Divine Dragon is still way stronger than your monsters. For now. Ho ho! I activate the effect of the Performa Pal Spring Goose I discarded earlier. By banishing Spring Goose from my graveyard, I get to return two of my Performa Pals from my field to my hand. I use my Spring Goose's effect to return Performa Pal Monkey Board and Performa Pal Camel Lump to my hand. Next, I activate the effect of my Performa Pal Slight Hand Magician. By discarding Monkey Board from my hand, I get to destroy your Stardust C for Divine Dragon. You didn't think my Stardust C for Divine Dragon was going down that easily, did you? I activate my Divine Dragon special ability. Once per turn, I can negate the effect of one of your monsters and then des destroy a card on your field. I'll negate your Performa Pal Slight Hand Magician's effect and destroy your Slight Hand Magician. What a show! Now I can reactivate Performa Pal Camel Lump in my Pendulum Zone. This time, I'll activate its effect to allow my Bubble Bow Wow to inflict piercing damage and reduce your Stardust Seifer Divine's Dragon's defense points by another 800. 
Now it's down to just 2,400 defense points. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh is right, you say. Now I'm inviting one more pal to the party. I summon Perform a Pal Elephammer. What? I can normal summon my Elephammer with, uh, without tribute whenever I have two or more Perform a Pals on my field. My Elephammer has 2,600 attack points. Now I switch my Perform a Pal Pendulum Sorcerer into attack mode. Finally, I activate this spell card. Perform a Pal Dramatic Theater. This card increases the attack points of each of my monsters by 200 for each type of monster on my field. Since I have a beast, spellcaster, and dragon on my field, each of my four monsters gains 600 attack points. Elephammer, Hammer, attack and destroy you say Stardust Seifer Divine Dragon. Let me play an old friend once again. I activate Scrap Iron Scarecrow to negate your attack. I still have three monsters that can attack. Bubble Bow Wow, use your 2,900 attack points to attack and destroy Yusei's monster. Well, thanks to my Stardust C for Divine Dragon's effect, the first time any of my cards would be destroyed each turn, it's not destroyed. What? That means my Stardust C for Divine Dragon isn't going anywhere. Well, even so, since my Camel Lump's ability let my Bubble Bow Wow deal piercing damage, you lose life points equal to the difference between my monster's attack points and your monster's defense points. That means you lose 500 life points. And now that your Stardust Seifer Divine Dragon has already protected itself once, it's vulnerable to my next attack. Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon, attack and destroy you say Stardust Seifer Divine Dragon. Oh no! Yeah. Your Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon has 3,100 attack points, but my dragon only has 2,400 defense points. Since your Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon inflicts piercing damage, I'm going to lose 700 life points and my dragon will be destroyed. Actually, you say, hate to break it to you, you're gonna lose 1,400 life points. Whenever my Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon attacks a level five or higher monster, any battle damage that it inflicts is doubled. This isn't good. No, it sure isn't. You have no cards on your field that you can use and only 300 life points left. It's over, you say. Perform a pal Pendulum Sorcerer. End this duel with a direct attack. Hold it right there. Are you guys ready for this move? I discard Swift Scarecrow from my hand to stop your attack and end your battle phase! Good save. But with no cards left in your hand and only a Scrap Iron Scarecrow on your field, this duel is as good as over. I don't know about that, Yuya. Let's see how it plays out, new friend. As long as I'm still fighting, this duel isn't over. I draw! I activate Pot of Desires! Now, by banishing the top 10 cards of my deck face down, I draw two cards from my deck. Ho ho! Just what I wanted! I activate the effect of my fallen Starbust Stardust Seifer Divine Dragon. By banishing it from the duel, I get the special summon any Stardust monster from my graveyard. I banish Stardust Seaver Divine Dragon from my graveyard to special summon Stardust Charge Warrior back to the field. Now I equip my Stardust Charge Warrior with Fighting Spirit and United We Stand. Pause for effect. Fighting Spirit increases my Stardust Charge Warrior's attack points by 300 for each monster on your field for a total of 1,200. United We Stand increases my monster's attack points by 800 for each monster on my field. Even though my Stardust Charge Warrior is by itself on my field, it's never alone. Its friends are all here in spirit, granting it a total of 800 attack points. Now, my Stardust Charge Warrior has 4,000 attack points! No way! Yes way! Stardust Charge Warrior, attack and destroy, perform a pal, Elephammer. Since Elephammer has 3,200 attack points, you lose 800 life points. And don't forget, 
My Stardust Charge Warrior can now attack all of the special summon monsters on your field. It's over. Stardust Charge Warrior, attack Yuya's remaining monsters and end this duel. Oh. I can't believe I lost. Believe it. I really could have used some action cards, but I couldn't find any. Oh, that was a tough duel, Yuya. And I bet it was as entertaining as a high-speed turbo duel. You're right, you say. All that matters is that the audience enjoyed it. I'm going to keep practicing my dueling skills so I can master all sorts of new strategies. And then, I want a rematch. I'm looking forward to it. Now, let's get back to the 2016 North American World Championship Qualifier.